Good Monday morning, everybody. It's time to talk markets with Jim Cramer on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. All right, Jim, what do you we think? We have not forsaken Facebook <laughs> uh, because we uh, believe that they can do what they want with their data on this. Let's spread it around. And one of the reasons I feel that way is because we have a terrific 1130 conference call they spent a lot of time on. And it's going to be about taking the other side of the trade of the opening. Uh, just because we recognize that the market uh, has taken on a coloration that we don't like. I mean, a market that can be down 400 on a Friday off the potential of a, what you're worried about, a Stormy Daniels tape, uh, uh, Intel, Boeing, and Apple being uh, next uh, for China. Obviously, now we know that that could be devastating to the stock market, and the Chinese know that. And, Obviously, Apple, the largest company, Boeing, the best performer in the Dow, and they have huge exposure to China. And Intel people under, don't, are, are underestimating how much business they have in China. So, you know, you have a, the potential of Steve Mnuchin uh, saying that things are better than you think, and that maybe the Chinese have been given a, uh, a, a slate of things to do, which is to take the tariff off for autos. Don't forget GM uh, sold four million autos last year. That's more than they sold here. Uh, maybe uh, stop stealing our intellectual property. Uh, that would certainly be a very good thing. And, uh, you know, I think implicit with that would be maybe no sale of treasuries, although we certainly could handle it because our rates are so high versus the rest of Europe. And uh, I think this, it's really important to recognize, I'm going to talk about it on my call at 1130, is this is not a done deal. Now, obviously, if they get this done, the president come back and, and, and can give a very, very good accounting of himself uh, and say, look, I told you things were going to be good. And, and that's great. That's absolutely great. And that's what this rally's about. Uh, if, if they don't get it, then you're going to say, why didn't we do some selling? So uh, I will address that right at the top of the call. Okay, that's 11.30 today on ActionAlertsPlus.com. We're right. looking forward to that. Meanwhile, Jim, Susquehanna downgrading advanced micro devices. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I mean, there's one where they say that Ethereum makes up about 20% of AMD's business. And the, uh, that's just not true. Um, it's, it's, it, it's less than that, and I think that those who sell it are underestimating the strength, strength of the PC business and the uh, gaming business. And I think that AMD's been committed, committed to this 30% growth. So, they're, and they're standing by that. So I have a hard time with that, with that downgrade to sell. So it's a buy in your view right now? Um, well, we like Nvidia. Mm -hmm. okay. But I, I, at 10, Advanced Micro does seem you know, compelling. Meanwhile, Jim, on Friday, you highlighted the Dropbox IPO on Mad Money. Yeah, well, you know, and I think that people, a lot of advertising is speaking for Dropbox. I mean, Dropbox is real. Uh, it has real earnings uh, that's going to start soon. It has real revenues. It's a loved product. It now has more money to get the word out. Um, do I want to buy it here as it comes in? Yeah. I mean, I think Dropbox is a very unusual IPO. And, I, I think that it came public on a very tough day. Um, this IPO and Spotify IPO are the two that I've been most interested in. Spotify is going to be done in, a, in an age traditional way, but that might be a good opportunity. Uh, so those are the two that I think that I had the most hope for. And, and you say Dropbox has similar valuations to Adobe and Red Hat, it's other a, cloud it's kings. A cloud king, and I think that uh, it deserves to be in our cloud kings, and it will be. Also, Jim, PVH reports on Wednesday. This is another stock you highlighted well, you on Mad Money. I've been saying that the mall is better than expected. Uh, and sure enough, Finish Line gets a bit. That's a quintessential mall name. Uh, Matthew boss out with a piece today saying that, that, that uh, Gap may not be as good as it has been. Uh, Abercrombie & Fitch is very good. Uh, American Eagle Alfred is, is very good. Kohl's is very good. Macy's is very good. We think that Nordstrom is in a major turn, uh, and that's really important. We will talk about that at our 11.30 uh, uh, Kramers Club call, and I think it's really important that you be on that and sign up or, or you know, at least trial us. Uh, I usually don't push this, but we have done so much that to be better than a brokerage house uh, that it's pretty hard to not say, you know what, I'm going to listen to what the club does, uh, especially when it comes to asking questions. I mean. 
we're going to answer really a lot of questions, uh, Q&A on the club call, and we do a lot otherwise. So, I mean, the value of it is, is really great. I'm not shilling for it as much as to tell you that if you had ever taken it, you will not believe what it's morphed into, and we're very proud of it. And I couldn't think of a better day to have this call right after this big market yeah, sell-off. I mean, I think that, again, down 400, up 400, remember it, that's uh, arithmetic and geometric on the way back up. All right, Jim, we'll be watching you. Meanwhile, Jim and I are going to continue talking about stocks on ActionAlertsPlus.com. We hope you join us there.